Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your sociology instructor. In this mini lecture, we're going to talk about the concepts of assimilation and multiculturalism. When you read about assimilation, it's sometimes called the melting pot viewpoint or e pluribus unum, depending on the textbook or the sociologist speaking. Imagine somebody coming to the United States from another society. If they were coming at the turn of the last century, as my ancestors did, they experienced assimilation. Assimilation is the process of a new group taking on the values and norms of the dominant group. Now, imagine those Polish ancestors of mine or those Irish ancestors of mine coming to the United States in the early 1900s. They confronted an assimilation value system in our country. They were expected to melt in to American society, to learn the language, to learn the values, to maybe keep on a few of the traditions at home, maybe the customary foods, but to definitely become an American and to melt into American society. If you go to YouTube and look at an old schoolhouse rock video on the Great American Melting Pot, you will see just what is meant by uh, assimilation and what my ancestors went through. If you've ever looked at currency, if you've ever looked at coins, you've probably noticed the terminology e pluribus unum, which is Latin for out of many, one. This originally meant out of many colonies we have one country, but it also took on the meaning of out of many different types of people we became one society. And again, assimilation means becoming the group that you are entering into and to a certain extent leaving your past culture behind. As we move into the 21st century and we're getting to the end of the second decade of the 21st century, the prevailing value system is not assimilation, it's multiculturalism. Multiculturalism believes that ethnic groups should be respected for their cultural diversity, and there's promotion in the equality of different cultures. So if you have a belief system that entails multiculturalism, you would not expect somebody coming to this country to take on the values, the language, the behaviors of American culture. You would believe that the culture they came from is just as valuable and contributes to American society. I find that most of my students initially believe in multiculturalism. It's the way our country's go going. However, when we get into a more detailed sociological debate, we often find that it's not so nearly black and white. Assimilation isn't necessarily all bad, and multiculturalism isn't necessarily all good. Let's talk about a few of these topics. In multiculturalism, all cultures coexist. In assimilation, everyone adopts the dominant culture. So when we're talking about language, if you believed in assimilation, you would want people coming to this country to learn English, the language spoken by the majority in our country. If you believed in multiculturalism, you would not believe in making it um, value, a value to learn English, um, that the person should be able to maintain the language of the country they come from, and it's not necessary to learn the language of the dominant country. 
are the, of the dominant group in our country. Another topic that could be discussed from the point of view of assimilation and multiculturalism is marriage patterns. Some cultures, uh, people who come from some cultures and join our society, have very different marriage patterns. So if you believed in assimilation, you wouldn't believe in uh, child marriage. In other words, you wouldn't want children to uh, engage in marriage. You wouldn't want to have a young girl, for instance, married to a much older man. Um, you wouldn't want there to be um, marriage between, let's say, three or more people. That's just not part of our culture. And if you believed in assimilation, you would want people to take on our patterns of behavior and our value system. If you believed in multiculturalism, on the other hand, you would say, well, that's the way it was in that person's society from where they came from, and it's of equal value, and we shouldn't try to change that. Likewise, education differs from society to society, especially among those who are from low-income societies, and especially among females. If you believed in assimilation, you would believe that if you come to our society, you should value education. You should value education for all children, regardless of whether they are male or female. If you believed in multiculturalism, you would believe that people who come to our society should be able to make decisions based on the culture they came from about the education of their children. So assimilation, again, means to take on the behaviors, the values, of the society that the person joins. And multiculturalism says, no, that's being a little heavy handed, that all societies, all cultures are of equal value. And even if a person decides to join a new country, they shouldn't be forced or even encouraged to take on the value system. So these are competing values, assimilation and multiculturalism, that can create some pretty interesting sociological discussions.